It is a magical day here at the ESPN Wide World of Sports as we get ready for the NFL Flag Championships at the Pro Bowl. The best teams from all over the country here to compete for national championships with the best players in the NFL on hand. And we welcome you inside our state-of-the-art studio here at the Complex. Drew Felios alongside the former Buffalo Bill, Rini Angolia. Rini, the flag championships just get better and better year in and year out. And I love flag football. It's such an exciting sport. It's a great introduction for young players to learn about football. It's fast. It's fun. It's very quick. And the other thing it does, it allows all the players to get involved. There's only five players against a five on a team. So it's a good game. It's fast and it's exciting. Could not have asked for better conditions here at the complex today. 68 Eight degrees, not a cloud in the sky, and the crowd just pouring in as they have throughout the week as we get ready for the Pro Bowl tomorrow right in the heart of Orlando. You can join the conversation today at hashtag play football, hashtag NFL flag 2020. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well, and even send us a tweet. We may even put it on the air absolutely throughout our show. So, Rini, you said it very fast. Um, great introduction to the game a chance for everybody to get involved in flag football number one number two Amaran Borgay number three Carter Meyer number four Austin Grissom Number five, Kendrick Borgay. Number six, Jake Bondi. Number seven, Clayton Meyer. Number eight, Kane Collins. Number nine, Jacob Gum. Number ten, Sean Roebuck. Assistant coach Chris Grissom and head coach Toby Borgay, the Tucson Turf. And now let's meet today's home team, the Huron Valley Bengals. Number one, Kalen Maluski. Number two, Malcolm Ross. Number three, Tyler Newton. Number four, Lorenzo Barber. Number five, Hudson Smith. Number six, Kellen Miller. Number seven, Alexander McBride. Number 10, Dallas Lusky. Assistant coach, Lorenzo Barber. Head coach, Dave Lusky. The Huron Valley Bengals. Oh, what a great moment for these teams. Tucson turf, Tucson, Arizona represented, and Huron Valley Bengals out of Milford, Michigan. And Rini, when these players had their names introduced... What a moment to yeah. run out onto the field. That was something special. Championship field, great crowd, great weather. You got all the mascots out, out there. And it's just a, it's a, boy, a chance of a lifetime for these young kids. Ten players for Tucson, Huron. Meanwhile, two less players. And, again, these are girls and boys, Rainey. So the ladies, they are tested here on championship field this morning. Well, and a lot of times when we – these games last year best players on the field were the girls so don't overlook them they're they're out here to play today head coach dave lusky and assistant coach lorenzo barber hudson smith is the quarterback and there you take a look at nick chubb who is among our celebrity nfl coaches here and we get ready now for the coin toss yeah and darius leonard from the colts the other player wearing 53 it is tails you won the toss defense you won defense you have the ball which way you want to go when you have the ball? Uh, let's go this way. That way? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Good luck. Shake hands. Good luck, buddy. Good luck, man. Good 
Let's play ball. So what a great opportunity, not only to play Rini, but to rub elbows with guys like Nick Chubb. You followed him extensively at the college level, overcame that injury when he was at Georgia, and what a career he has had. And so that's far. the biggest thing, the injury he overcame, and just it shows your perseverance, right? Get back in it, keep fighting, and doing unbelievable work in the NFL with the Cleveland Browns. So Tucson Turf will wear the white. Huron Valley will wear the blue. Players helping each other out, donning the flag. Sean Roebuck right there, the quarterback for Tucson Turf. And rules for flag football, very, very different, of course, from the conventional game. Offense has three plays to cross midfield. The quarterback, seven seconds to throw the ball, and he cannot, of course, run past the line of scrimmage. And Rini, it's five versus five on each side. Yeah, and it's, you're going to see a lot of room on that field because there's only five players. So Roebuck tossing it. And his first pass incomplete. Bourget was the intended receiver. And you'll notice, Rini, again, very quick, very decisive on point. Your throws have to be. Yeah, and it's 20-minute games, 10-minute halves, running clock. Doesn't matter if you drop the ball. That clock's going to keep moving. Second pass attempt. This one's complete. And nice yards after the catch this time. And finally, the, the flag is pulled. Carter Meyer that time. Makes the catch, and Lorenzo Barber is going to be very active for the team in blue on the stop. Yeah, good little catch and run there, but now that this is that third play, they got to get it to midfield. Well, here comes that pass rush. Roebuck stepping up, and this one's going to be taken down just before midfield, so a good defensive stand that time by the Huron Valley Bengals. Yeah, three and out for the Bengals. Great way to start for head coach Dave Lusky and his group. See a little misdirection, a little fake. Good job by Roebuck, the quarterback, finds the receiver, Meyer, but a good defensive play. Very hard to pull flags. That's like one of the hardest things in flag football. Come up there, get balanced, get low, and get a pull on that flag. Nice job right there. Get the ball to your offense. This game continuing to grow. More than 500,000. Incredible number. Girls and boys across the country participating in NFL flag in the year 2019 and sure to be many more in the coming 2020 short pass this time and Rini, you really got to be calculative how you take those shots dallas lusky makes the catch you very much have to be efficient well, don't you with only three plays to make it to midfield you got it's very important on that first play you get some positive yardage and they did right there with the catch by lusky You know, interesting, both these teams, Drew, started today 0-3. They both went on a run and knocked some other teams off to get here in this game today. Team from Huron Valley with 16 tournament championships. That's an incredible number. And this is Tyler Newton with his first catch. He'll get it just across the 40-yard line. Could we, Rini, and taking a look at some of these early plays, could we be seeing a defensive battle here in this first game. Well, right now, remember, these are 9- and 10-year-old kids playing, so the arm strength for the quarterbacks isn't quite what you'd see with the older kids, so you're not seeing the long shots down the field, stretching the field. You're seeing some slant routes, some out routes, some underneath stuff, but right now the defenses on both sides are doing a nice job coming up, getting those flag pulls. So Hudson Smith, 11 years old. Looks to try and get it past midfield. And this one also is going to be stopped. Lorenzo Barber made a good catch, but a defensive stand by the Tucson turf. Yeah, Carter Meyer, number three for Tucson. Again, a good pull. It was a nice catch. Turned it up. Would have had the first down, would have Barber. But Meyer had the pull before midfield. And it goes back to Tucson for their offense. Nice catch. Good job turning it up, but a better defensive pull. And now taken off going to present the defense some problems there. A little quarterback switch. Kane Collins takes his first snap and does something with it. And you saw the quickness of Collins there as he was in a run zone so you can run the ball and a nice pickup on first down. Something Tucson didn't do the first time they had the ball. Of course, Serena, you always focus on the keys to tackling, but the keys to pulling flags. How does that differ? Very similar though, Drew. You got to have a low center of gravity. You got to keep your, your eye right on that midsection and don't get faked out. Oh, tried to fake that time and tossed to Collins. It fell incomplete. Kane Collins, very versatile player, just 11 years old. And these 
young men are just tremendous athletes. The young ladies as well. So Roebuck will take a shot now. Again, got to get it past midfield. Eludes the rusher. They pull the flag before he gets the pass away. And Huron Valley again gets their defense off the field. Man, I'm with you thus far. A defensive matchup right here. Both defenses playing well. Roebuck does a nice job. He avoids that first sack, slips a little bit. But look at the effort to come back by Malcolm Ross to get the flag, pull, and the sack. So first down, now they try and run this one left. And again, the defense is dominating here early. Tyler Newton getting the carry, tries to take it off tackle. Yeah, it looked like he was going to get outside, but Jake Bondy, good pursuit. Inside out, came down that alley and got the pull. And, and that's what I love about flag football. There's so many similarities to what these kids will endure when they play tackle football eventually, when they get a little older, put the pads on. Fundamentals don't change in football. Tucson on defense right now. They've been playing together since they were four years old. As that pass, a little bit ahead of Dallas Lusky. And I think we got a few nerves for the kids. Yeah. I mean, we talked about a championship field. We got NFL players around as honorary captains, all the mascots out here. So a lot going on for these young kids right now. Got a 20 minute running clock today. So keep an eye on the time as well. And the field 50 yards long. Should get a look at. Our NFL stars on hand today, Darius Leonard there. Snap a little bit high, rarely do you see that. And you gotta be careful as it nearly went beyond the goal line that time with Hudson Smith. Yeah, that was the third play. They go to the ground with it, does Hudson Smith, and it's a turnover. Tucson will take it back over here with under four minutes left in this first half. Well, coming up tomorrow, the NFL Pro Bowl from Camping World Stadium, 3 p.m. Start time. Tickets still available. Go to ProBowl.com if you want to be a part of that great event. Some tremendous players we're going to be watching. Lamar Jackson, what a season he had for the Ravens. On the NFC side, seven Saints players leading the way, including Drew Brees. I think the fans are going to be happier this year. Last year, if you remember, a little cold, a little drizzly. This year, pitcher perfect, sunny day. Should be a great time out there at Camping World Stadium tomorrow. John Roebuck goes with a short pass to Clayton Meyer, and neither offense been able to shake free right now. Well, the thing that's impressed me most on both teams thus far, Drew, is I haven't seen one player miss a flag. They've come up, they've gotten the pulls. I mean, usually you see a little fake out and a guy reach and, and miss the flag, and there's extra yards. I haven't seen it yet. Great on their pull, flag pulling. Tucson team with a set of twins on the team. We've got the Borgays, Emmerin and Kendron. Good arm strength that time, and a nice completion to Kane Collins. He is a good looking athlete, number eight in white. Great catch, just short, and will we go a whole first half without any team getting past the 50? Because so far, the defenses are playing lights out. Nick Chubb on here and here this morning. Get a chance to talk to the players a little bit later. I, I could see Nick kind of telling Coach, hey, let's, let's run it a little more. Let's get that <laughs> running game going a little bit. Uh, Cleveland Browns had an up and down year. Chubb, one of the few bright spots. Tyler Newton that time on the carry as Huron Valley gets the ball back. And that's a good stop by Jake Bondi. And you're right, Rini. Those flags pull, yeah. are sure handed so far. And, and, and that is, I'm telling you, I've played flag football. That's the hardest thing to do is be, uh, you know, sure when you reach in, get, get a hold of that flag and get that pull. And both these defenses have been excellent thus far. Hudson Smith at quarterback. Tyler Newton goes out for the pass. This one's intercepted as Borgay comes away with it. And Kendron Borgay has the first turnover of the game. Yeah, a little miscommunication there from quarterback to receiver. The quarterback throws inside slant. Receiver ran skinny posts, and Kendron Borgay right there, the beneficiary, steps in, makes that interception, and now the Tucson Turf have great field position here, but the clock is running. See if they can get some points before half. Just read the quarterback's eyes. Now give it to Collins. Let him do something with it. But the flag pulled by 
Tyler Newton. But you watched on that interception, Rini, how the defensive back just read the quarterback's eyes. Yeah. That's how flag football is so important. And those are the same fundamentals you play with when you get older and you're playing tackle football. You're reading the quarterback's eyes, you're undercutting the route, you make the interception. Fake it to Collins, rushing the quarterback, missed it that time, dumping it off near the goal line, and flag pulled by Lorenzo Barber as Carter Meyer nearly scored. Yeah, and with 40 seconds left, third and goal here. They have to score on this play. Clock running out. Big play here in this first half coming up. But great job by the quarterback, Sean Roebuck, to avoid a sack, keep his head up, and get the pass out to Carter Meyer. They are at the doorstep here, Rini. What do you like here? A pass, possibly a run. Remember, a touchdown, we're six points. Well, and of course, remember, the rules are a little different in NFL flag football. They are inside the five, so they have to throw it. It's sure. a no-run zone. So, I, But I like Roebuck, the quarterback. I like when they move him around, a little, little fake in the backfield, maybe roll him out and flood a side. Fake the run and throw for the touchdown. Carter Meyer gets Tucson Turf on the scoreboard. Yeah, who, huge play for the Turf. You can see a little play action, a little fake here. Now, if you're here on Valley, don't fall for it because they can't run it. And then you just slide Carter Meyer out. You're only at the three. Good job by Roebuck to put it on him. And the Turf strike first. So now it gets interesting, Rini. An extra point is worth one point from the five-yard line. It's a two-point conversion from the 10. They try for the one, throw it up, and come down with it for the extra point. What a catch by Austin Grissom. Great concentration by Grissom. Roebuck puts it up high in the back of the end zone. Number four, Austin Grissom's going to go up, make that catch, and that's a huge conversion in this game. Love how Grissom goes up, high points it, makes the catch, inbounds. Big conversion. So I think just what this game needed, a turnover just before the half, and then Tucson takes advantage of it, and they take it down and score the six and get the extra point. So what action we are seeing here at the NFL Flag Championships. Thrilled you're here, Drew Felios with Rini and Golia as we get ready for the Pro Bowl tomorrow and then next week, the Super Bowl, Rini in Miami. 49ers, Chiefs, who do you like? Yeah, everyone's telling me Kansas City is going to be a runaway. I just, I just have a feeling San Francisco is going to play well and pull it out. But, you know, you never want to go by me because I am always wrong. Especially when it's NFL talk. See, the fans having a great time out here today, and there you see Tucson celebrating right now after the touchdown. A great moment with these young men. Well, we're joined now by Nick Chubb of the Cleveland Browns. And, Nick, great to see you out on championship field here this morning. How big of a thrill is it to be a part of this Pro Bowl week? to just come out here meet so many you know, great guys and just get to know everyone uh, have fun at it with my family and just uh, have some relaxing time but it's still great to be here nick you got to get with those coaches tell them we want them to run the ball a little bit more right <laughs> get a little running game going hey i'll talk to i'll see what i can do you know <laughs> okay. um, we got the ravens coaching staff so you know the guys love to run the ball so hopefully hopefully we'll continue doing that nick we're just talking about your college career we love to call college football we saw what you did recovering from that injury and what it has led to now at the pro level how awesome has it been to participate and make make this Pro Bowl? Yeah, it is, man. It's amazing. It's, it's very special to me to be here. And, um, yeah, I came a long way from Georgia to, um, you know, completely busting up my knee to being here at the Pro Bowl. You know, I'm definitely blessed and able to be here. It's, it's just amazing. And matching which with Darius Leonard on championship field this morning. Darius, uh, being a part of this dream, the Pro Bowl, tell us about it. Oh, it's amazing, man. Uh, you know, that's something that uh, we players live for, you know, to come out to be considered as one of the best at your position. So just to be out here with all the great guys in the NFL, it feels good. And Darius, talk about the experience here, the Pro Bowl in Orlando, Disney World, everything going on. How's it been? Um, it's been great. You know, spend a lot of a lot of family time um, going to Universal and Disney, and, and then you get to spend time with, you know, guys around the league who are doing the same exact thing as you. So it's definitely fun. 
Finally, for Indianapolis Colts fans, tell us about the year that was and what's to come in 2020. Um, 2020, um, a year, a team that gonna go out and compete. Um, you know, we definitely headed that the season went the way it did uh, last year, so we definitely got to get back in the playoff run. Thank you, Darius. Right, thanks, guys. Thank you, All Nick right, Chubb, thank you. as well. Thank you. As we get back to the NFL flag championships here at the Pro Bowl, Drew Felios, Rini, and Golia, Tucson with a big touchdown before halftime. Huron Valley with their first turnover. And Sean Roebuck and company taking advantage of it as we get back to live action. Tucson in white, Huron Valley, the home team in blue. And Huron Valley will get it here with Hudson Smith here to start half number two. It's a nice pickup by Dallas Lusky as he uses the speed to get near midfield. And that's the biggest offensive play of the game thus far. And they did it on their first down, which is huge. See if Huron Valley can answer that late score in the first half from the Tucson turf. Good throw underneath. Lusky, nice speed to the outside after the catch. So Dallas Lusky pitching it as a wide receiver here this afternoon. And now Hudson Smith trying to get into a rhythm. The 11-year-old, Southpaw. Little quick slant this time, looking for Kellen Miller, but that was broken up. Carter Meyer with great defense. Yeah, good job by Meyer. Break on the football as it goes incomplete. That would have been the first first down for Huron Valley, but it gets broken up by Meyer. This Tucson team in white began the tournament with three straight losses, but Rini, they beat the number one seed yeah. and the number two seed to make it here. An incredible run. Yeah, they, they started to click late, and they made it here. Now it's Smith. Over the top this time. Oh, nearly had it. That maybe would have been a touchdown. Kellen Miller just could not reel it well, in. Well, and I think that's what Kellen Miller thought because this is a great play as you roll out the quarterback. Good throw by Hudson Smith, and it just hits Miller. I think he just started running with the ball before he secured it, and it gets dropped. Ball back to Tucson now. Trying to go on top by two scores. Getting away this time is Collins. And he gets to that far side. Got a few yards that time before his flag was pulled. Yeah, good defense, though. Like Huron Valley, step up. You'll give them. They want to run the ball. Only pick up a couple yards on that first down. You'll give them that all day long. Just come up and pull the flag. Remember, ball starts at the five-yard line. So a few yards on that gain. Got to go 45 to the other goal line for a touchdown. Oh, a little hesitation, and then a tremendous catch and run by Tyler Newton. Touchdown. Great out cut right there. Good throw by Roebuck. You see the defender. Dallas Lusky trying to break it up, jumps underneath it. Meyer makes the catch, and he's down that left sideline. You know, you make a break on the ball as a defender with only five defensive players on the field, five on five, you miss it. There's no safety behind. Meyer turns it up and takes it the distance. So Carter Meyer, the 10-year-old with the catch and the run. And call it 43 yards to Pater. And now they'll go for the extra point. Fake it this time. Try and throw to it and incomplete. So the extra point denied this time. Huron Valley makes the stop, but they trail now by two scores, and they got to figure out a way, Rini, to get something going offensively. Yeah, you know, that last time out, they did. They just had a couple drops, I think a couple balls that players could have and should have caught, and they just have to do that. They'll be okay. We'll see if they can get something going here on this possession. Hudson Smith tosses it long. This one falls incomplete. Dallas Lusky, the intended target. Once again, the, the clock is a running clock. So, Rini, it's pretty much a must-score time here for Huron here, here yeah, Valley. Yeah, and pressure, pressure got there quick that time of that Tucson turf defense. Forcing Hudson Smith to throw that, I think, you know, counter two before he wanted to. Well, you're right, the running clock down two scores. Huron Valley has to score here. Smith now goes short. Tyler Newton the catch. 
Well defended, though. Carter Meyer continuing to stay at home. Third down play, remember, flag football. They have to get it past midfield to get another three plays to try to score. So this is a big play call here by head coach Dave Lusky. Nick Chubb will represent the AFC tomorrow in the Pro Bowl. And a tremendous backfield. He's going to be teamed with Derek Henry and Mark Ingram. A couple good running backs Pretty right good. there, Rini. Throw this one long. Up for grabs and incomplete. So Roebuck goes for it all that time. But it falls. Hudson Smith, rather, tossing it downfield. And it falls incomplete. That's an all-SEC backfield in the yeah. Pro Bowl. Yeah, good stuff. You watched all those guys play college football. Ingram at Alabama, Derrick Henry, Alabama as well, and Georgia with Nick Chubb. But Nick Chubb, I mean, it's a great lesson. We talked about it. For anyone out there that endures an injury, you know, you, you let the doctors fix you up right, and then you rehab, and it just goes to show you if you fight and you, you work it out, you can make it back. And he's a great example of that. Now it's Roebuck faking it one way, tossing over the middle. Carter Meyer able to get a couple yards. So Carter Meyer reeling in catch after catch here in this championship. Tucson coached by Toby Borgay, Chris Grissom, the assistant coach. Started a little slow, but really clicked here offensively as of late and they use that little fake to kind of keep the defense at bay this one up for grabs it's intercepted and an opportunity now for huron valley wow and that's one that if sean roebuck could have back he just can't throw that up for grabs but lorenzo barber what an interception here and huron valley needed this big time he makes the catch a great pull great job by the receiver to come back and get that pull. Close to the goal line this time as Tyler Newton gets his hands on the football. You can sense here, here on Valley, if they can score, Rini, they're still very much in this game. And they're just short of the five, so if they elect to run it here, they can. Hudson Smith, a little shovel pass this time. Stop just short. So now they're in that no-run zone, Rini. They've got to pass. And they got one play to do it. So. Remember, a 30-second clock to snap the ball each time the ball is spotted. So teams will take advantage of that quickly, go to the sideline. And now let's see if Hudson Smith can convert here. Smith waiting, waiting. One receiver falls down, throws it up, and it's caught. Tyler Newton has the first score for Huron Valley. Yeah, Newton, one of the smaller guys, kind of gets lost in the middle there. Great concentration to make that catch. Hudson Smith, good job. The lefty keeping his eyes up field. Gets it to Newton. Go for one here. And this throw is picked off. So they'll blow this one dead. Good hands that time by Jacob Gum. And he had some gum on his hands that time. <laughs> nice concentration by Gum. And that's you know, one of the things I really like about flag football. Look how many different names we've called out today. Kids all chipping in for their teams, making plays. Love to see it. And that's why it's so fun for young players to get introduced to the game playing flag football. Sport continuing to just explode throughout the United States. And these athletes have exploded as well for Tucson. Kane Collins has been a handful, takes it forward again. Alexander McBride right there, number seven, pulled his flag. Yeah, Huron Valley's going to call their timeout there to stop the clock because if you're the Tucson turf, the one thing you just can't do is turn the ball over, right? You can't throw an interception. You're up by seven. I think Toby Borgay, the head coach, he's going to try to keep it on the ground here. Get ready for the Pro Bowl tomorrow. Sunday, 3 p.m. at Camping World Stadium, NFC versus the AFC. Kirk Cousins, another player that we should be talking about, quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings. What a rebirth to his well, career. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of another player that has more doubters, right, uh -huh. than Kirk Cousins. He came out and played lights out this season. 
Tickets still available for that. Camping World Stadium to a, just a beautiful place to watch a game. Rini, you make your home here. We have our first penalty call today, a false start. You make your home here Hatchet, in the Central Hatchet Florida the area. Loss it down. Well, that's a huge, huge play right there for Tucson, or I should say for Huron Valley because it's a loss it down. So now Tucson only has one play left to get it to midfield. If they don't, Huron Valley is going to get the ball back before this game's over with a chance to try to tie this thing up or possibly win it with a two-point conversion. Like the headbands for this Huron Valley team. Face paint, headbands, they got it all working here. Tucson, little reverse action, trying to get some of that real estate back. And Carter Meyer does what he can, but just cannot avoid that defense in blue. And now, Huron Valley's going to hurry up here. Uh, I love the hustle from the referees as well. They got the ball, they got it spotted, boom, there it is. Huron Valley has a minute to try to tie this game up or win it with a two-point conversion. Hudson Smith tosses it out, incomplete on the first try. Dallas Lusky couldn't squeeze it. They'll spot it quickly again. And that's the thing with young kids. They're trying to rush, but rushing does you no good if you can't complete the passes. You just got to kind of take your time here. Hudson Smith unloads it. Oh, incomplete. But a flag is down, and we're going to have an interference here. Huge call. First down. You got it. You good? And the clock's still running. It doesn't stop the clock. Automatic first down. Here on Valley, 30 seconds here to try to score. Hudson Smith with the crowd on the edge of their seat. Lofts it up for grabs. Oh, incomplete. Great defense by Kendrin Borgay. But I love the vertical shots by Here on Valley. Boy, I wish they were doing that this earlier in the game. Look at the Tucson defense. They are camped out in the end zone. Hudson Smith puts it up again. It's intercepted. Tucson Turf is going to win this game in the championship. Carter Meyer coming down with it as time expires. Pretty fitting. All the receptions offensively Carter Meyer had. Ends the game with an interception. And boy, that got exciting at the end. A team effort it was from the team in white. The Tucson Turf going up early, using their defense to eventually lead to the offense, getting on the board before halftime, and then tacking on the extra score. And it was enough to take down Huron Valley, and they are the 9- to 10-year-old co-ed national champions. Great thrill for all these kids. See how excited they are. And a great effort also by Huron Valley, Rini. They did not give up throughout this game, but right now, Tucson Turf getting ready to hoist that beautiful trophy and take it back out west. You ever win a trophy that nice when you're Never. nine to 10 years old, Drew? Not even close. You have that plastic one, right? That, that's cracked somewhere? <laughs> Tried to make one of my own. <laughs> and you see the Cardinals mascot. You know that Arizona Cardinal mascot is excited as the team from Arizona victorious in the first game of the day here at the NFL Flag Championships. NFL cheerleaders also on hand. You see representing each team here at the Pro Bowl. And this is a moment that these young men will never forget for the rest of their lives. Championship football there as well. Great, great stuff. Congratulations to the Tucson Turf. Toby Borke, the head coach, Chris Grissom, the assistant coach. These players have been together since they were four years old. And at the ESPN Wide World of Sports, they cap off their trip with a national championship. And the other thing that's so amazing, they started the tournament today with three straight losses. Then they knock off number one, number two. They go on to win the championship. And Carter Meyer fitting that he's the MVP. All the offensive receptions he had, the big touchdown catch on the left side, and then Ends the game with an interception. Uh, this has meant so much to Carter Meyer for what he has done here this weekend. And this is his final reaction after making the play, the interception to seal it, the emotions showing through. And a season of flag football capped yeah. off, Rini, in grand fashion. Sean Roebuck, the quarterback there, grabbing him. Had a nice game today as well. 
So there's the final score. Tucson Turf, 13 here on Valley. Six here at the ESPN Wide World of Sports. Nick Chubb. Among the honorary players here, celebrating with the winning team here at the NFL Flag Football Championships.